Good afternoon po. May I request everybody to stand up? Let us read and uh, open our Bibles in the book of Exodus chapter 4. Let us read from verse one, verses 1 to 11. Let's read this responsibly. I'll read verse 1. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will not say, or for they will say, The Lord had not appeared unto thee. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. That they may believe that the Lord of God their fathers, and the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob had appeared unto thee. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom and again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it upon the dry land. And the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. And the Lord said unto him, Who had made man's mouth, or who make it had who make it the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Let us pray, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity again to study your word. Thank you for these people that you brought here today. Salamat po sa mga bihaya po amin natanggap sa salita po na inyong ginamit kayo na umaga. Salamat po, Panginoon. At um, nabigyan niyo po kami ng tamang puso at isipan sa aming pag-aaral po na inyong salita. At guide niyo po kami at gabayan sa aming pag-aaral ngayong hapon na ito. Hindi po namin ito sa Panginoon Jesus. Amen. Every, uh, sit down po. Thank you. Now, Exodus chapter 4, um, this is um, talking about Moses. And uh, all Christians are called to be obedient to God's calling. Be it to be saved, baptized, cease uh, certain sin, or to do something he has laid on one's heart to do. Uh, too often, or yeah, too often, um, many of us are excuses are used to wiggle out of one of what one has been burdened to do. So, in verse number four, uh, in chapter four, verse verses number one to eleven, we see here the. That Moses had made um, an excuse. He didn't want to do what God had called him to do. God called the humble man to lead the two million plus people out of Egypt and their bondage. And, and that is found in Exodus chapter 3. Now here in Exodus chapter 4, we'll see the, that um, Moses, uh, God made miracles to Moses. And we all know the story about it. These are miracles happened to Moses. In verse number 2, and the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he, cast, and he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. The first miracle that happened to Moses was, or is the, the rod turns to serpent. And in verse number th four, And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and cut it. And it became a rod in his hand. So in verse number four, we see here that the, the fate of Moses, when he reached his hand to the serpent, and not only to reach his hand, his, the Bible says 
take it by the tail. And uh, we all know that the tail is the most dangerous part of the serpent. And yet, Moses was unharmed. So in verse number 5, that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers and the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, the God of Jacob had appeared unto thee. This verse, in verse number 5, it shows the purpose why this miracle happened. And uh, this miracle would make the, the children of Israel, Israel realize that God of Abraham, God of Jacob, God of Isaac ha was with them. And that, that the God of covenant, covenant had not forsaken them. And in verse number 6 to 9, we see here the, the second and the third miracles happened to Moses. Which is Moses is made leprous and whole again. And the third one was water turns to, to blood and back again. So it shows here in verse number 6 to 9, Moses did what many of us do when God calls on us to do something for his glory. He hid behind an inadequacy uh, that he thought would prevent him from doing what God required of him. But then in verse number 10, we can see here, and the Lord spake, verse number 10, and Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and a slow of tongue. So Moses said unto the Lord that his speech is hindering him from doing any speaking. He thought that his uh, slow speech would hinder him from speaking to the people of Israel. But in verse number 11, you see here God answered Moses. In verse number 11, And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? So this God's answer to Moses in verse 11, suppose exemption should be silence Moses and most of our excuses. Most of our excuses also. God reminded Moses that he, it was he that had made Moses mouth. So certainly, it shows here that God knew our limitations. God doesn't require anyone to do, to do anything that they cannot do. If God laid on a person's heart, to do something, it can be done. Maybe not on their own, maybe not without God's help, but if God calls a person to do something, he can do it. So, Christians, what are excuses in life? And dami po nating excuses sa buhay. Without knowing na nandyan lagi ang Panginoon sa atin. We are working not for ourselves. We are working for the Lord. And let me cite some examples here. I can't Quit my drinking. If God convicted you about, your, about destroying your body or life with alcohol or even drugs, God can always help you to get, out over, uh, to, get over, uh, to get control over that controlling sin. I cannot go to church. I cannot read my Bible. I cannot pray. You know, madalas nating dahilan. But we actually can if we let our God prioritize our time. It just shows our priority. Ano bang pinaka-importante sa buhay natin? If I can't live without, or I can't live the way a Christian should live because I will lose all my friends. Well, God can always give us new friends, not just friends, family. So most of our excuses are not sufficient to keep us from obeying God. We can do all God requires of us. Let's just have faith, trust in Him. He will not require of a Christian something that he is not able to do. So let me end here in Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Thank you, Paul. God bless.